guys, it's Casey from Crystalline Designs. We are going to make today these beautiful pairs of earrings um, using BB Craft products. So, from my last shipment of BB Craft, I got these beautiful um, resin and shell beads in pink and in turquoise. And so that is what I'm featuring in these. I also got a couple of beads from Bargain Bead Box in here. Um, a little bit about BB Craft. Um, they have given me a coupon code for you guys. They are a crafting website. Um, you can find all manners of crafting items on there. And the coupon code they have given me for you guys is Crystalline10. It will save you 10% off of your entire order at their website. And they have a great, great website. I love shopping on their website. Um, they also have a YouTube program, which I will tell you more about at the very end of this video. So if you want to see how I made these earrings, keep watching. I am going to make a couple variations of earrings using these, um, their little resin and shell beads. Sorry guys, I hit the camera. Resin and shell beads in pink. Um, and then I've added a few things from my own stash. That was in the wrong one. So, the first one I made was this. It didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to, though. So, I made it a, a, a different variation. However, I'm going to make both of them on here with you so that you guys can see. Um, it can be a bit tricky, especially this one. But, still turned out really pretty. And then, here was this pair. And so this was my second variation and I really like both of them. This just didn't move the way I wanted it to. So as far as tools go, I have a round nose pair of pliers. Um, I actually have my crimping pliers, but only because I really like how thin the tip is. I have a flat nose pair of Zeron pliers. I have some cutters, um, some bent nose pliers and my wire straighteners. So you can use any or all of these. Um, you don't necessarily need them all, but that is what I used on my projects. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got um, the stuff laid out for the projects here in these little dishes. And actually these are little like pink bicones, Lucerna type bicones um, that I got from Bargain Bead Box, which I'm gonna show in a later video. Um, and they have like a gold luster, so I thought they matched these. And then these are lantern beads that I also got in that same shipment. And they were in a slight pink color, um, so they're really pretty. And I thought they matched these beads well. So you're going to need some wire. I have a 20 gauge length of wire, and I believe that this is 6 inches. You don't need that much, but I just wanted to give myself some space. And then just two little links of 24 gauge wire. And I just just cut them. I didn't really have a plan. That was actually all I had left <clears throat> on my spool. And so I just cut those off. Um, I have a couple of eye pins. Um, these are actually stainless steel. And a couple of stainless steel ear wires. So that's all you'll need. So go ahead and gather your tools and... Meet me back here and we will get started. Okay, so I, we're gonna go ahead and um, do this one first, this here. It, only because of the level of difficulty, um, it's a little bit more frustrating. And so we're gonna work on that. So it's got two of those lantern beads, um, one of the um, resin and shell beads at the bottom here. And I already made this one up just because um, I was going to make a test pair and then didn't finish, but all I did was I came, I took a piece of wire, came through and wrapped around twice and did a, a wire wrap at the top there. So you can see that second wrap. And then I put my lantern beads. So this is what it looks like. Oop, I dropped it. Um, this is what it looks like not dangling on anything. See that double wrap? And so I just came through the bead down here and went around twice and then did that wire wrap top. So it had a wrapped loop. And then for our little lantern beads here, we are going to put them on these eye pins. I'm sorry, you guys, my nose is running. Give me just a second. Okay, so we're going to put these lantern beads on eye pins. 
and just do a simple wrap loop. You do need to leave a little bit of room on the lantern bead, or I mean under under and on top of the lantern bead, because we're going to wrap around it. So I'm just making sure that this bottom is closed well. And then we're just gonna come up here just a tad bit above and I'm gonna bend it over and I'm just giving me that much room to wire up. So then for my simple loop, I measure it against my finger here and just cut off whatever's past my finger. And that's not my round nose pliers. <laughs> Grab your round nose pliers and roll a loop. Whoops. Or drop the loop, one of the two. So there's my little loop. It is a bit bigger than the other side. I could, if, if that's something that you are a stickler about, you can just cut off a little bit more and roll it down a bit more. So that's more even. And then see how I've got some room with my beads so that I can wire wrap. Then we're going to do the other one. And actually, let me make sure my loop is closed here. There we go. And then put your little lantern bead on. Fold it over so that I have a little bit of room. And then, like, say... And roll a simple loop. Okay. And then that gives a bit room, a bit of room on either side. Okay. Then all we're going to do is we're going to hook these two together. So I'm going to open this one up, thread on this one, close it, and then I'm going to open the bottom and thread on this one. Okay, so that's what we have. <clears throat> then, just taking um, your a little piece of, this is 24 gauge wire. I am going to straighten out the end a bit. This, like say, was just what I had left on the roll, so I'm using it. And so, all you're going to do is get this, actually, I'm going to put my ear wire on first. That way I just know it's done. So this is the basis of our earring. But because I wanted to be extra, I'm putting on a little bit of extra. So you can thread this around. And you, you just need to get it, this is the fiddly part, you just need to get it started here. Which can be a bit difficult and fiddly. And so, I just want two or so wraps around my base wire, just so that I can get started. And let me see how I did on this one. Yes, I did. It looks like two reps. Actually, I need to go around one more time. Okay. 
and just kind of keep your tension tight. Then I can push this up a bit so I have a bit to work with underneath. And then all I did after this point was I threaded on, I'm going to straighten this out just so that it's not crooked. I threaded on five of these little bicones. And I've got way more than I need, but so five little bicones. If you can find the hole. Ah, I lost it. Okay, one. Two. They're very, very little. It's really hard to see where your hole is on them. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm fighting sicknesses. Three. Four and five. Once you've got your five on, you're gonna kind of just fold it over your bead, and then we're going to go around the base of that bead. That's why we we needed that little extra room. We're gonna wrap around the base of this bead twice if you can. So push it up as much as you can. Push the bead up, push those beads up. This is why I say it's a bit fiddly. Okay, and wrap around twice. <laughs> And just kind of push your wire up a little bit. Like say, this one is very fiddly, so now we've got that side on. And what I did was I went through, when I came, when I came back around the second time, I went through this bottom one here just to guide me on down. There we go. And then, that way I had something to kind of hold me to start my wraps right here. And I can see that this is actually a bit open. See, and this is why I had my crimping pliers out. They just, they have those little grooves in there. And so it helps you to place that in the little groove and pinch. Okay. So then you just need to get it around the base here a couple of times. And this is why it doesn't really move the way I want it to. But I need to make the second one the same as I made the first one, so that is what I'm going to do. Okay. And I'm sorry it's so fiddly. So once you got that piece done, then we are going to come around the other side. So I'm going to use my wire straighteners again, straighten out what little wire I have left. It really doesn't take very much wire, however, if you don't have you a good piece, then it's harder to work with. Okay. 
No niin. Oh, come on. There we go. So this is where we're at right now. And we're just going to thread on some more of those bicones. We need five of them again. And it didn't work out very well last time trying to pull them up off the bead mat. So I'm just going to thread them on with my fingers. And five. So there's my five. And we're going to come on around the side of this bead. And I do want to push it up as much as I can so that I have room to work around. And then you're going to come around here and just wrap it around the base. Okay, and then you're going to want to push your wire up as much as you can up there. Okay, and then just get it around a couple of times. I actually am going to go around one more time. And then I'm just going to cut off the rest of the back here. And I am going to push down okay then we need to cut off that little bit at the top that we had left to hold and make sure you push that down in too sorry you guys I went off camera and this is what you are left with. Okay. And that's what we have. And I actually am going to change my ear wire around on one of these because I want them to look the other way or mirror each other look the other way i want them to mirror each other <laughs> and then that is what you have They're very pretty. I love the sparkle in them. Sorry, let me pull it up closer. I love the sparkle in these. However, they were very difficult to make. So, there's that pair. And let me clean this space up. Now, for the other pair. Because that one was so hard to make, it was difficult and, and, and not super fun. Because of that, um, I did another one, and that was this. So it's the same concept, basically, except I did the two, there's the pink beads up here, did two of those, and then I still came around, I wrapped it around the middle between them twice, and then put a little dangly on. So that is what we will do. I actually didn't tell you one thing you're going to need, which is a ball head pin. Let me find a longer one. There we go. A ball head pin is one of the things you will need. And then you will need to make a length for these beads. So we're actually going to do that real quick first. So I'm just going to come down. I have a length of wire. Like I said, I think this is six inches, but you don't need that much. Um, if you're new, you might. 
Um, I just always do it that way because then I know I have enough. Um, so I just went down uh, about two inches and bent it 90 degrees. We're gonna bend it up and over, rotate the players around and go on around. Then I switch hands because I am right-handed and I come around like that. However, I usually come in with my pliers and push it up against my pliers. And then you can come on around. And if you're comfortable doing it with your fingers, you can do that. If you're not, use pliers. I kind of do a a combination of both because I like precision and tightness, um, but I can use my fingers. It's just not my favorite. Okay, and you're gonna have, I did three rounds, and then you wanna tuck in any loose ends. Okay, then you're gonna thread on your two resin beads. <laughs> Oop. The two resin beads. And then once again, we wanna leave a little bit of room. So, instead of just doing the amount that you need to wire wrap with, I'm going to do a bit extra. So I'm using my flat nose pliers to give me some extra. And then I'm going to come in with my rounds. Go up and over. On a round. Rotate my pliers. And then on a round. Okay. Change hands because that is easier for me. And then, and see, it's not quite as tight as I personally like it, so that's why I come back in and use my pliers a bit. So just that, and then you need to clip off at the back, and I didn't hold that so it went flying, but that's okay, I'll pick it up later. Then you just gotta tuck in any loose ends, and somehow it rotated on me, so, okay. Then the other thing you need to do when you're doing this is make sure that both of your ends are facing each other. Now, I anticipated on mine, so I don't have to to twist, but I did have to twist yesterday because I didn't pre-plan it. Um, so just make sure you know where that is. Now, we're done with that piece for now. Now we are going to make a wrapped loop on our little dangle, but we are actually going to attach it before we close it all up. So, I just made a little bend coming in here with my round nose pliers. Up and over. Going on around and continuing around. And I've bent it out of shape so I'm going to straighten that. Um, but now we're going to open it up a bit and thread it onto either end of our unit. So I threaded that on and then you're just gonna close that on up and hold on to it. And then oh come in here with your your pliers and come around. I actually need to hold the other direction. So, just straightening up. Mm -hmm. 
And I actually, on this one, went up over my other loop. So when you do that, you can push it down like that. Then come in and finish if you happen to do that. Or your other option is to close it back up. Or I mean, open it back up and then put it back on the reel. Whichever one works for you, do what works for you. This one is a bit fiddly too because you don't want to crack your bead. So I am trying to come in with the tips so I don't hurt my bead. I only have a little piece left that I'm trying to fold in without breaking the bead. And you can cut this piece off if you want, if it's proving too difficult for you. Or you think you're going to crack your bead. And you can. Okay. So. That's what we're left with. So really pretty little dangle. And our little beads. And you'll notice that they have a little bit of space in between. And that's for us to hook onto. So. Then you're just going to come in here. And I just kind of followed the grooves of the wire. And come around. And you want to get on your previous wraps. If you can. So get on your wraps, come around to the front, and you're going to thread on your, once again we did five, thread on your five beads. Okay, so our five beads, and I'm just going to tilt those on around, and I went towards the back, and then I'm going to go around the center twice, and then after you've gone around your center twice, then you're going to thread on five more beads, Eek. or you're going to drop them one of the two. One... Two, three, four, and five. So I've got those beads now, and I'm just going to continue on around the edge of this bottom bead, like that, and then you're going to come around and wrap up around these bottom wraps. And then you want to kind of squish your wraps a little bit and clip off at the back. Okay. And then you want to tuck in any stray ends. Then we need to clip off that little tiny piece at the top. Okay. 
and tuck in that end. Okay, and this time, this is what we have. And I am going to twist this a bit. Okay. And that is what we have. Then you just need to pop an ear wire on it. Let me clean these up. And put those in with those. Get this out of the way and I'll find my other ear wire. There it is. So we're just going to open our ear wire up. Oops. Thread it on. And this is what we have. And I did it the wrong way. However, I can fix that. And I just picked whichever way was fanciest. You can adjust these a little bit if you want to. And so this is our second pair. And I think those turned out really pretty. So there are the two pairs of earrings we made. <coughs> this is using BB Craft products. And give me just a second and I will put them on a stand for you. Okay guys, so there is the earrings. This is the one pair, the one that was a lot harder to do. It was much more fiddly. Okay, and then here was the one that was a bit easier. I like them both. I love the sparkle. Um, but like I say, this one was much harder to do. So, in fact, this video took a lot longer than it should have done for two pairs of earrings. But if you're still watching, thank you so much. And um, this stuff was from BB Craft. These beads were. These were for Bargain Breed Box, but it's a BB Craft tutorial. Um, so a little bit about BB Craft. Um, it is a website that sells crafting supplies. They have a YouTube program in which if you have over 100 subscribers, you can um, pick out $40 worth of um, supplies to feature on your channel. So if you're interested in that, that will be on the description box below. Um, I also have a coupon code for them to save you 10% off of your entire order and I will put that up on the screen as well as in the coupon or in the coupon in the description box below for you guys. So stay tuned for that stuff. Go check out their website for sure. They have awesome prices and um, they sell bulk products um, as well as great storage and crafting supplies and all manner of jewelry making supplies they're a very great website i really love them so check all that stuff out and we will see you guys in the next video bye guys